of course, thinking really secretly that, of course, you know, I could be trusting me with this project, he would definitely turn up at the last minute. But what happened was, um, he didn't. He didn't turn up. I was at the airport. I had all my bags. And um, he, he'd been giving me this intense training. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not very technical, but, you know. He gave me all this intense training, and I didn't really pay attention, to be honest. Thinking that he was, you know, really coming along anyway. And then we get to the airport, and I was there with, um, with my son, who I dragged along. And as we checked in, I just waited for Michael to put his bags out and the ticket, which he didn't do. Um, and it was very terrifying because he said, no, I trust you with this project. And I thought, crikey, I wish I paid more attention when he was, you know, when we were doing all the craving sessions. So I turned up not knowing that much about it. Um, and after spending four days trying to get to America, the airport had lost my luggage. So I had only the clothes I'd been wearing for four days. And, and um, I did have a shower somewhere in between. But as soon as I got there, I was already late because the planes had been delayed and the American airports were crazy. And they invited me to this event. So I turned up wearing the same clothes I'd been wearing for four days. I, I rearranged them a little bit, turned the, you know, like top inside out and put my thing down to make a skirt look a little bit different because you know some people had seen me in, in the clothes and wanted to be wearing the same things. And as I stepped out of the taxi, I stood in front of something that looked like the Coliseum. And as I looked inside, everybody was wearing ball gowns and tuxedos like it was the Emmy Awards or something. And I thought, uh-oh, I am not going to walk in like this. So I ran after the taxi and uh, didn't, didn't make it. So I stood there, um, not knowing what to do, and they, somebody saw me and said, oh, you must be Melanie from Australia. And um, come, this is your chance. Everybody that is somebody is here tonight. And I thought, oh, how, how lovely, and I look like this. But to be honest, every, well, everybody looked famous, so I didn't really know who anyone was when I was speaking to them and mingling. Wow, um, not realising that, that they were their movies. 